DaVinci Resolve 18 Tutorial for Beginners Complete Step-by-Step -step Guide Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at one of the most powerful editors out there called DaVinci Resolve 18. It is a professional editing color and effects studio where you can edit any kind of HD or UHD video and it is super premium. It is definitely one of the most high-end video editing softwares out there and it is available for free as well as their Resolve Studio starting at $2.95. But all you have to do to get started is to go into blackmagicdesign.com which is their parent company and you can click on free download now and then you can download DaVinci Resolve 18 or the 18 Studio if you want to subscribe to their premium version for more studio features. But I have already downloaded and installed their application. It's a very simple setup. You just download it, open the zip file, and then it will just install the application for you. And you just have to agree to the terms of service and the basic signup process. Once you have completed that, this is going to be your uh, DaVinci Resolve Studio. So this is what the studio looks like or the video editor looks like and I'm just going to call it Resolve 18 just to make it simpler but this is going to be like your home screen. Now we're going to go through step by step what each of these things is. So on the bottom you're going to have different panels. You have this panel where you can uh, get it in a more simplified manner. Then you have this panel, this one, this one, color correcting one, audio one, and the uh, saving one, so where you can render your videos. Now, the first one is to basically get access to your media. Now, for that, you can go into your user files, you can go into your, uh, you know, the files that you have, you can import them. You can also see you have uh, no clips in media pool, you can enter clips into your media pool, and you can you do this to just zoom in and see what you have available in terms of, you know, different items. Then you also have the second screen, it's pretty much the same thing, and you have this section on the top where you can just click on this and this will open up a uh, file to access all of your items. So you can go on ahead and upload any kind of item that you want from here into your uh, media clip pool. Then you also have this section over here. This is just for basic stuff and then you can upload entire folders as well if you want to do that. So uh, over here you can see you have a basic preview panel and you can click on your finder. So if you go into your finder over here and you go into your downloads, so we have this. Now you can see we have a frame rate, so we can click on change over here to change the frame rate. And this will import our little video. So now I can move this to the bottom over here. And now you can see our video has been imported. So now you can see if I play this, you can see I have a simple little clip added in my preview. We all know how previews are and you can drag and drop and then view this like so. Now, after that, you can also click on this icon over here to, you know, have a free playhead or just to scroll ahead. Then you also have multiple video integration. So if you want to insert clips, you can also do that. And on the top, you will find fields such as effects. So you can click on effects and you can click on binoculars. So you can click on binoculars or any other tool that you want to begin, uh, you know, adding multiple different effects on the Resolve 18 as well. You also have picture and picture effects that you can add uh, if you want to, you know, integrate multiple different videos at once. But we just want one simple video, so we don't really need this. We are going to keep it very simple. And I'm just going to cut all of these um, videos and I just want a simple one integrated over here so at the start and then after that you can see you have two screens so you can lock one screen like this so lock a certain track and then you have the upper preview now you can enter a different type of thing that will appear a temporary screen a temporary script whatever you might want and you can enter that over here you can also you know uh, score a certain clip and open a certain clip like this move it like so we can play a certain clip in zoom 
like so if you want to do that but we can also just zoom this out just as simply so you can choose whatever kind of uh, zoom in you want off a basic clip like this so from here we have this little section where it is going to be zoomed and you can also choose to remove the section you can also choose to enter this in not in a locked form so if you enter something in a locked form it's going to uh, be added like that but if you want to remove it you can also remove it directly by going into your scorer and then going to the clip master and then you can remove any of the pre-existing clip cuts that you have added now you can also trim your videos like so and make you know shorter cut up version so let's say i want to remove a certain section i'm going to clip it from here on the top left and then clip the next section and then if i want to remove this section i can click on cut and you know you can cut or remove any of these sections or you can even click on split and then split any two sections as you might want but i'm just going to split this and i'll show you guys some more features as well so if i remove everything the timeline section goes back to blank now i'm going to add the video again in our first track now after that if i click on this section so you can see we have this simple little video preview now you can choose this section of zoom in and out to further expand this video to a longer time period to uh, you know further zoom into the time period and see how long it is going to appear and if we click on over here you have your uh, project details and after that on the top right you have this simple section where it is going to color balance or not to color balance then you also have effects on the top you have your sound library as well now after that in terms of just editing features you have hyperlinks you have uh picture and picture features as well and you also can trim certain parts so if you want to add something or remove something you can choose to change the frame rate or change the aspect ratio of that specific uh, section as well now moving on to the next section over here we have this specific section where we're going to begin how we want the output to look like so you know integrate text like this so media in media out or let's say we have to paint something we can paint it like this and choose how long we want the paint to appear or where we want it to appear and then you can get a preview of how it's actually going to look like so if this is just going up like this and you can move the preview section back to see what it's going to appear so i'm just going to pause this for now and then you can check your color balance from here click on ok and this is just like an example that i'm showing you guys but you can place the node on top so in this way you can you know enter multiple different uh image tools as well now after that you have your settings where you can blend a certain item you also have a uh, inverted mass you can apply as well as modifiers so you have brush controls apply controls how you want your brush strokes to be and if you want to remove anything you can just do a right click and remove any of the added blurs or filters that you might have added now once you have done this you can also click on grids to form grids and view the different items next up you have the basic color wheel so you can apply a overall color scheme reduce you know the exposure lighting change the effect like this simply via a graph to balance out the colors throughout a video so let's say i don't want there to be a major change in color so i can just reduce the rgb to like a very uh linear graph to make sure that there are no uh distinctive color changes within the video so if you want to do that you can also do that but if you want to do something along the lines of reducing a specific color within a video so let's say that you want to reduce the amount of red in a video you can select that and decrease the red or increase uh you know any other color that you want and balance those colors accordingly then you have your next section which is going to be the audio section where you can balance the different audios that you might have added so you have multiple fx mixers as well and then once you have completed this editing you can go on ahead and import or render this video uh, with your own customized export in the form of a video audio or file 
and you can choose to import in terms of whatever resolution that you want and whatever quality that you want and you can click on add to render queue and the image or the video will be queued and you can save it any of your file destinations so i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video